If you live around the Pacific Ocean, you might want to look up at the moon fairly soon. On the 26th of May, there's going to be a total lunar eclipse. And that's when the moon passes behind the Earth and goes through the Earth's shadow. So the bright white moon that we're fairly used to will disappear for a moment and be replaced by a faint red moon. This red color is caused by all of the light being bent around through the Earth's atmosphere and shining onto the moon's face. So people say you're seeing the combination of all the sunrises and sunsets all across the world during a total lunar eclipse. So they're definitely worth looking at. I'll leave a link in the description detailing the times and places that you should be able to see the lunar eclipse from. But with that public service announcement out of the way, now I want to get into the real reason why I'm making this video. It's so I can be an angry astronomer and be mad at things. So you might have noticed that a lot of articles are calling this a blood moon. And I remember a time when I had never heard of such a thing as a blood moon. And it got me thinking, when did this actually start? Was I imagining that I'd never heard of a blood moon before? So I went to Google Trends and put in the term blood moon to see what would come up. Show me the history of people searching for this term. And I see that it only really started in 2014. So the question would be, well, is this when people first started caring about total lunar eclipses? Well, we can compare blood moon to total lunar eclipse in Google Trends. And what do we find? Well, we find that total lunar eclipses were interesting to people long before the term blood moon was. So then the next question is, why is blood moon such a big term now? Why did it appear in popular culture for describing a total lunar eclipse? Well, in 2014 and 2015, there was a fairly special event with the moon where we had a tetrad of lunar eclipses. That's four lunar eclipses in the space of a fairly short time. So over 2014 and 15, we had a whole lot of lunar eclipses. And for whatever reason, the media decided to call this set of lunar eclipses a blood moon. And for whatever reason, this term has stuck as well. So every lunar eclipse that has followed since then has also got the term blood moon associated with it, which I'm not particularly that much of a fan of because it serves no purpose. You have no extra information being conveyed to you by this blood moon term. It's kind of just annoying. That's my astronomy nitpick there. And it's always bothers me seeing this blood moon term. And then of course you also have the things like supermoon. A supermoon is kind of cool, I guess. It's when the moon is slightly closer to the earth as a full moon than what it is at other times. Um, and this is just a coincidence of geometry as the moon's orbit processes with its orbit around the earth. There's nothing really too special about it. But I've also seen lots of media outlets hyping up all of these supermoons and giving them very fancy and spectacular names for something that amounts to not really much at all. A supermoon looks almost no different to our eyes than what a normal full moon does. So that's kind of disappointing and I feel a bit misleading, saying that there's some very special and unique event happening when not so much is happening at all. And the names that they associate with these special full moons is getting more and more bizarre. This total lunar eclipse that will be happening in the next day is being called a super blood flower moon. What does that mean? Well, there's a super moon that coincides with this total lunar eclipse and the flower part. I've got no idea what that means. I've tried searching to see where this flower term comes from and I couldn't see any articles that described why they decided to call it a flower. So that one's a mystery to me. Maybe it has something to do with it being spring in America. But in general, all of this just makes no sense. There's no reason to be saying these things. And I eventually got to a point where I got sufficiently annoyed by all of this and needed to rant to a camera. So if you've stuck along for me ranting away, thank you for listening and hearing me out. And to all of the media groups, who keep calling them blood moons and all of these strange and wonderful names that astronomers like myself don't ever use. Um, here's a special message for you. Stop it. Get some help.